What's the most terrifying thing that you've seen in the woods? I was solo camping and was on a hike to my favorite spot. I saw what looked like a man holding a massive rock in one hand and a knife in the other, facing me. This was pretty weird, but other bush crafters have been known to camp there too, so I gave the standard, hey man, shout and wave. I got a bit closer, and it looked like it was just a rock. I laughed it off and turned around, staring to walk away. A rock whizzed by my right ear, fast enough and big enough to really hurt me if it hit me. I turned around to where the rock had come from, and the figure I'd seen wasn't there anymore. I told this before, but it works here. My friend and I were walking home from school one day. We took a different path than usual, and we stumbled upon someone's house. It was one of those isolated homes, surrounded by forest on all sides. I noticed something white on the edge of the lawn as we passed. I took a look at it, and it looked like half of a human pelvis. I asked my friend, who hunted, what he thought, and he said it didn't look like a deer or coyote. As we were studying it, the homeowner storms out of his house, and starts to chase us. And I mean really chase us. For a good half mile or so, until we lost him. It was more than just trying to chase us away, I think he was trying to get us. We never told anyone at the time. I tell the story now, over a decade later, and people think I'm bullcrapping. I just hope my friend was wrong and the guy was just a effing loon with animal bones on his lawn. When I was younger, we would go camping at a place called Bear Creek in TN. The campsite we got was always the best, as my grandfather was best friends with the owner of the place where you could camp. The place backed up into nothing but miles of woods, with your nearest neighbor like two to three miles away. Anyways, at our campground we had a big creek with a bridge overhead. Well, on the third day we were there, I remember everyone being around the fire and me wandering off to the bridge. There on the other side were a group of black-robed people staring back at me. They just stared, no faces being shown, one had a knife of some kind, while another motioned for me to come over with them. When they started over the bridge towards me, I ran back and my family grabbed their guns and started to point at them. They calmly went back over the bridge and never saw them again went to a small patch of woods near a friend's house in the suburbs and found dead cats, squirrels, rats, and birds nailed to a bunch of trees. We ran out of there and my friend's mom called the police who closed it off and investigated it for the day, never heard if anything came from it. One of my old friends used to live in a house in the woods. One night after watching Hush, a movie I don't recommend while alone in the middle of the woods, we went out to smoke and we overheard something and turned to look and there was a clown. It was right during the time where people were dressing up as clowns to scare people. It worked. Not something I saw but something I heard. I was out, walk alone at a campsite and there were bears there. I faintly heard a, ah help me and, help, but disregarded it cause I thought it was my mind playing tricks on me, because it was so faint. The next day park rangers were looking for two campers who went missing yesterday, the day I went hiking and heard that. Later that day they found a bear, killed it and inside it they found the two campers. I heard those people crying for help and die but disregarded it. Now I take everything I even faintly hear seriously. Suicide victim found inside his truck in the woods. I've posted recently, but definitely the worst thing I've seen in the woods, even if it was just inside the woods. I was a rookie first responder. One fall night, I found myself on a call with little information. Caller had noticed an old fleet side pickup truck parked off a country road, they also reported a horrible smell. Arrived on scene, and immediately noticed the horrible smell. We spot a banged up tailgate poking out of some underbrush just off the road. Worked around the driver's side, and see that the windows are blacked out. Flies begin bouncing off us from all directions. I grab the door handle, pop the button in, and pull. I was stepping away from the truck as the door swung open but the smell still hammered me in the face. Flies everywhere. My partner shines his light into the cab, and we see dark, grimy clothing draped over a human shape. It was my first experience with a deceased individual, luckily my only one where the decomp was advanced. The remaining skin was slouching, making it difficult to approximate much about the person before death. There was an outline of human putrefaction on the cloth seats. The windows which I assumed were covered with black bags were actually layered with black film from the breakdown. The sight of the face was horrific. 
Imagine an organic abstract statue being peeled by gravity. Myself. No literally, I saw myself in the woods, same clothes, same hair, same body shape, everything. I couldn't see the face though. It was just me running through the forest. I was like six or seven at the time with another seven-year-old friend. We left that forest when I saw that, never asked him if he did. In high school we did a cross-country meet between the other parochial schools, and this was kind of out of the way and a bit of a drive into the woods. These league meets were every other Tuesday and you won based on how the team did every week, with the points added up at the end of the season. So the course was just always set up because we were there so often, and we didn't go over the course before the race, we just warmed up and started. And then one day we were racing through the woods and passing by dozens of large stuffed animals, dolls, and other children's toys hanging by their necks, suspended from the trees, covered in red paint, what we were told, some impaled with sticks, broken glass and pipes. The race was two laps. They stopped us after the first and cancelled it to clean up. We didn't go to those meets anymore. When I was around seven, I went with my brothers for a walk in the nearby forest. We were walking on a road in the middle of a forest, when we saw a woman who was staring at us from between a trees. We thought nothing of it but a while later the same woman was still staring at us and following us hiding behind trees. We started to freak out, she was just staring at us with a faint smile while hiding in the woods, this is where we just started to scream and run. We managed to get out of the forest and the woman was no longer there. I never saw this woman again, but this was one of the scariest experience in my life. About two miles into a solo hiking slash camping trip, I came across a five foot mirror. It was just standing there in the middle of the trail, propped up between two small trees. Never saw or heard anyone else while I was out there. The real scary part was it wasn't there on my way back out. I was playing in the forest when I was very young. I remember seeing what looked like a small monkey with really long red hair, crouched down with his arms wrapped around the front of his knees, like a lost homesick child. I just stood there trying to be really quiet because something about it felt really wrong and my instincts were telling me to GTFO of there. I quietly walked back the way I came, and I never seen it again. It still puzzles me to this day because it was in the middle of Wisconsin. It's not something I saw but something I heard. I was taking a walk around the back roads of Vernon VT toward Brattleboro at around 2 or 3 AM, insomnia, and I heard children laughing in the woods. There weren't any houses or lights within sight so I assumed it could be foxes or something sounding like people but then I heard like actual voices. I called out and then heard a bunch of rustling like something running away. It definitely sounded like kids laughing and young kids too, not teenagers. I fell asleep in my tree stand and it had started getting dark but it wasn't completely there yet. I remember looking up and seeing a crescent moon so there wasn't too much light. Anyways I start climbing down, and I hear leaves rustling around so I climb back into the stand and pull out my flashlight and shine it into trees, and all I can see are a bunch of silhouettes and about 12 pairs of green eyes watching me. Coyotes had been watching me. When me and my friends watched Blair Witch tapes, we decided to make our own. We had bought a board from Kmart, RIP. We got to the little graveyard, and we saw three girls killing a rabbit. Just stabbing it over and over. We ran home. Walking round the forest at night with some buds and one of them yells. What in the hell is that? So we all turn and see a humanoid creature hanging from a tree, looked like someone was hung. It was incredibly pale and skinny. I started to walk up to it and its eyes flew open. All I remember after that is that its eyes were red and it charged us. My friend shot it, killed it, and ran. Found it the next day and found out it was an albino deer. We still don't know how it was hanging to that branch though. Was hiking once with a couple friends at night. Around 3 AM, it was in an area that wasn't public woods, just middle of nowhere. It was by a lake. We pull up in my car to a long gravel road big enough for one car and that's it big ditches on both sides full of water. We start to walk around and we see a light on in the distance. Shouldn't be any houses anywhere near, wood should have been empty. So we decided to head towards it. We walk for about 30 minutes and start seeing like bed sheets, or just big squares of fabric, they were hanging from trees by ropes. Appearing randomly and very dirty. 
Odd but they seem to lead towards the light and we head forward. We get to the top of a hill, there's a circle of sheets hanging around the top of the hill. In the middle was a chair. A machete, knife, and ice pick. We are getting a little creeped out, so we grab the weapons and decide to head back. The light was still far away. Seemed like it never got closer actually. We swear we could hear footsteps behind us. I was in the back. We hear in the distance some water splashing. Like a big rock was falling in. Like the big deep splash you would hear. We keep stopping checking around us with our phone flashlights. Trying to hear where the splash noises were coming from, if the footsteps we heard would stop. We get about 5 minutes away from my car. We hear footsteps, we stop and just listen, a few seconds passed and that splash noise happened right next to us. I look and the water was not moving. Nothing fell in, we didn't know what made the noise but we start sprinting back to the car. The light disappeared, we get to the car and I floor it backwards down the road and couldn't turn around, due to the ditches on both sides. We kept all the weapons and I don't know what the sheets were, what made the water sound, what happened right next to us or what the light was and how it disappeared, and we never got closer to it after 30 minutes of walking. Oh well. We lived. A fox feeding on a rotten human carcass, I was with my father walking through the woods, he was a hunter and we went deep into the woods. We saw that scene and called the police. After further investigation it appears that the woman we saw came to the woods to commit suicide, after her parents disowned her and her dad has beaten her up because she got pregnant out of wedlock at 21 years age. A 600 pounds grizzly bear. 